。早晨，歡迎大家翻翻嚟我 Learn with Tom Lee 嘅廣東話粵語第六十七集嘅大合集。我將會同大家轉一轉話題，講講普通話拼音系統嘅錯誤觀念。我主要以英文去同大家講解嘅。Morning, welcome back to my Cantonese lesson 67. In this chapter, I will tell you the misconception of the Putong Wa Pinyin. I will tell you some of the foreigners and also some Chinese have the misconception of the Putong Wa Pinyin. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and the bells as well. Now let's start. Why I made this video? Seen, I saw a video on YouTube titled Why Chinese Hate One Syllable Words. And in that video, they suggested that you may use Chinese words with two or more syllables. In the video, it said that the Chinese face, like Mei Li, Mei Lai, is one word with two characters, Mei and Li. And so it is one word with two alphabet letters and two syllables. This concept is a wrong concept, especially to the foreigners that want to learn Chinese language and writing. So I decide to record the video to tell you that the truth behind this misconcept. I'm not a language expert, but you can fact check on the internet and the documentation about language in the university library. It is easy to see that the Chinese language has never has two or more syllable in one word. It means that it is. Always one and only one syllable in one Chinese word. But before you understand this concept, first we have to talk about English, a foreign language, a Western language. In English, a Western language, a word is formed by combining different characters. We call them the alphabet letters from A to Z. A word may carry one or more syllable. For example, the word boy, one syllable. Man, one syllable. Beauty, two syllable. We spell it B U and T. Wonder, two syllable. Beautiful, three syllables. Absolute, three syllables. Information, four syllable. Superwoman, four syllable. Normalization, five syllable, and so on, so forth. How about Chinese language? In Chinese, a word is formed by shape, not by alphabet letters. This doesn't contain the concept of alphabet letters in Chinese language. A word carries only one syllable by itself. For example, the word "mei" is mean beautiful, one syllable, one word. "Li," one syllable, look good. "Mei li" is two words. Two syllables. It's not one word. It only represents the meanings of beautiful, but it uses two words, not one word. 女 the girl, one syllable, one word. 儿 one word, one syllable. 三美女 two words, two syllable. It is one face. It means a beautiful girl. It also means a beautiful young girl. 女儿 two words, two syllable, one face. It means the daughter. So you combine the new girl with the er son, and you make its different meanings. It means daughter. 美丽动人 four words, four syllable. It's one face. It only means charming in English. And most of the foreigners, and also some of the Chinese, they mistake this 美丽 as one word with two letters, and they think that 美 is the alphabet letters and 丽 is also alphabet letters. But actually, this is not true. 美丽 is two words. It has one meaning, but two words. And also, 美丽动人 it is not one word with four letters. It is four words with one meaning. So you have to bear in mind this misconception because you may see other videos they mislead you that 美丽动人 is one word with four syllable and one meaning. This is not true. But why? Why some people think that even some Chinese people themselves mistaken "mei li" is one word with two alphabet letters? It's simply because in Putong Wa spelling system, Putong Wa Pinyin system, they try to use the Western alphabet letters to spell all the sound of a Chinese words or words. For example, they spell the words "mei" as "mei" and the words "li" as "li." 
they are using the alphabet letters of the Western style to try to spell out a Chinese character Mei. Then it's come together, the face Mei Li as Mei Li. They also combine these two spelling together into one part. They simply combine the spelling of these two words together. So some Chinese may think that Mei Li is just one word with two syllables or two letters Mei and Li. Using the Western alphabet system to record the spelling of a Chinese word, this chai is a good chai. No, this is not a good chai. It's a wrong in concept. So I don't think this is a good idea to doing so. But why the Chinese government using this idea to doing so? To let you learn Fudonghua? This is because a language examination. There is a language examination in China called the Putonghua Shui Ping Che Si. Included in the examination, there is one part of exam is that the questions write out some phrases like Chan Jia, Cheng Chi, Hong Cha Guan, Chang Di, Chao Chu, Chao Ting, Qing Xian. And you have to write the pronunciation in Putonghua. That means you have to write out the Western character represent pronunciation of this phrase Chan Jia. We may write it as Chan Jia and without a space between Chan and Jia. Cheng Chi, Hong Cha Guan. You can see that in Hong Cha, it's combined together without separate Hong and Cha. Chang Di. Chao Chu, Chao Ting, Qing Xian. So in this examination, if you spell the phrase Chan Jia as Chan and then a space between and Jia, they will fail you and say that you are wrong. But actually, they are wrong, not you. So because of this misconception of the Chinese words and spelling of the examination board in China, it just confused the foreigners and even some of the Chinese people, they may think that the Chinese words are form of alphabet letters like Mei Li is one word and two alphabet Mei and Li. And then Mei Li Dong Ren is one word with four alphabet, but it is totally wrong because Mei Li is two words, one face, and Mei Li Dong Ren is four words one phrase, not one word, four alphabet. So my suggestion to you is that if you are foreigners or someone who want to learn Putonghua and like to take the bow examination, use the ways to spell in the examination, but please don't agree to their concept of Chinese words because they are wrong. Note that the Chinese words are formed by shape. Each word has its own shape. For example, Mei, Hao, Sheng, Nu. This is four words and one word with one syllable. And only one syllable in one word. Words can be grouped together to form faces with different meanings. But please don't mistaken that Chinese words are formed by alphabet. There are no alphabet concept in Chinese language. So when you see a face like Rao Ren Jia, it means an old person. It is three words, three syllables with one meaning, an old person. So don't mistake it as one word with three letters, three syllables. This is totally wrong and this concept is totally stupid. Okay, my video is coming to end in here. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channels and click the bells as well. Adios, hasta la vista.